The Sonox Toolbox Listen Hub is designed to help you improve your mixes and masters. It doesn't emulate speakers or room acoustics, but will give you a set of tools to check your mix against any other audio track, wherever they play back on your computer. With Listen Hub, there's no need to import reference audio tracks. You can simply play back on, for instance, Spotify, iTunes, or YouTube Music and reference with your audio in your DAW. So Sonox named this product Listen Hub and that perfectly sums up what it does. It really is a hub where you can check your mix. The program also comes with a free iOS and Android control app, which is really an asset for your workflow. But the main program is Mac only right now, more on that later. You do need to set up Listen Hub. When you install, you can use it system-wide, which is how I prefer it and will show you in this video. Or inside your DAW as a plugin. When you use Listen Hub system-wide, it needs to be your default output device on your computer. Then all audio playing back on your computer will go through Listen Hub. Inside your DAW, you need to set your outputs to any other output, so it will show up as its own bus in Listen Hub. This will enable referencing. The app displays basically the same interface as the software on the computer. So you can run Listen Bus in the background and use the app to switch between everything which is how I prefer to use it or use the app on the computer. By simply clicking on a different bus you switch instantly between sources. And if you press here, Listen Hub will match the loudness of sources which is such a useful thing. This will give you an honest comparison between your track and the reference track without being skewed by the loudness difference. A smart feature is that when the reference changes, the button will blink to notify you should update. Listen Hub uses the same graphical interface as Claro, which makes sense. It also uses the same clear naming for certain areas of the frequency spectrum, like weight or presence. Below this graphical interface, you have 10 buttons. The top 5 will solo a specific frequency band. And this is the same for your own mixes and the reference audio. So you can really zoom in to hear what is happening in your mix versus the reference. There are 5 more buttons which also work for all audio and these will solo left or right channel. can swap left and right, do mono and sides monitoring. This is a real set of useful monitoring tools for sure. When you mix for a long time you can lose perspective and simply by referencing or swapping left and right channel you might hear things you haven't heard before. The four buttons here help with that as well. Listening at different volumes will also change your perspective of your own mix and having four options literally at your fingertips is a workflow improving feature. There are also dim and mute options which I think are handy as more general monitoring options. Listen Hub is Mac only right now. The reason for that is, and I quote, we are exploring the possibility of making this available for Windows 2, but we can't commit to a Windows version just yet. The Windows ecosystem is very different in some of the technologies that underpin Listen Hub. We weren't comfortable releasing a restricted or compromised version on Windows, so we decided not to release it at all. That seems fair to me. Also on Mac M1 I found a bug where the frequency display freezes. Reloading the app will fix that. Also there's a known bug when you start up the very first time where Listen Hub will not boot. You need to go in activity monitor and quit the program and after that it will run fine. Sonox is working on a fix. Back to the frequency display. On the top you will see a loudness display in LUFS, a dynamics display and a display of your dynamics over time. The loudness obviously shows how loud your current audio is. When you switch between sources the loudness will be updated. Yeah, 
What is good is that the Dynamics display and Listen Hub will also show you how healthy your dynamics are from lively to competitive to crushed. This will give you an objective idea and this also applies to all sources, so also to the reference track you are using. Again very handy to improve your mixes and this also takes away the loudest better pitfall. Now you can also use plugins in your playback. ListenHub uses audio unit plugins so be aware of that. Using plugins will enable you to use plugins like speaker emulation, headphone monitoring tools or something like the adapter streamliner to have extra tools to evaluate both your mixes and reference audio system wide. You do need to set this in the ListenHub app on your computer. On the remote control app this isn't possible. It is actually worthwhile to dive in the settings of ListenHub because you can set things like having the frequency bands set to dim the other bands or mute them. For the entirety of this video I have used dim. The iOS app on the iPad runs smoothly for me. Of course it will use battery, so if you use the app for very long periods of time I'd suggest you connect it to power. Using the app really is a great workflow improving feature. And connecting was really simple, the app automatically detects the Mac app and connects. Of course you need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. What I really like about the Sonox Toolbox Listen Hub is that you really have a toolbox literally at your hands to check your own audio and reference audio in many ways. It's like having a hardware controller with more options. Listen Up also leaves open the option to use your preferred analyze and modeling tools as addition to the tools provided in Listen Up, which is great. Listen Up will improve your mixes without a doubt. Get it by using the link in the description below. So Listen Up uses the same frequency display as Claro, which is in itself a great EQ to level up your mixes. Watch my video on it, it's displayed on screen and also linked in the description below.